have a flamethrower. Man, my flamethrower sucks. Whoa, what is that? Flamethrower. That's not fair. Today we're gonna hit an ice sculpture of Logan Paul with a flamethrower. But first, we gotta make some popcorn. And then maybe a nice steak dinner. Also, I have a mattress I peed on, I have to get rid of. Ice cream. It's gonna be epic. Watch to the end, little gangsters. So our first course of action is we're just gonna make some popcorn. I took the plastic off. All right, calm down, environmentalist. Right there. You know, we gotta get some popcorn ready for when we burn Logan Paul. Hey, Bubba. Hey, good boy. Who wants some popcorn? This is a very well-trained bear. Hey, who's a good bear? Yo. I love your shirt. Thanks. That's such a great shirt. I got it at shopmrbeast.com. Wow, that's such a great shirt. Do you like, moisturize? I do. And I have a shirt that shows that I do. Yeah, this looks pretty good too, but we'll get to that later. Flamethrower it. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like my popcorn extremely burnt. <laughs> I'm allergic to popcorn, I think. Chris, you burnt my popcorn. I'm sorry. I mean, that piece doesn't look too bad. Oh, wait, it's still on fire clear. Not gonna lie, Chris, you might be good at moisturizing like your really sexy shirt says, but you're not good at making popcorn. I'm not. You should to stick to moisturizing. I noticed some of them didn't like our new tiger. You're not a true Jake Pollard. Get out of here. <sighs> Chris, I really want some pizza. Hey, Eric, you got a pizza, right? Oh, yeah, you're, you're Italian. Italian. Yeah. You think that I got a pizza just because I'm freaking Italian? I mean, yeah. I actually do. But yeah, I knew it. Give it here. It's not gonna be happening all the time. It's a fact. Italians always have pizza on them. Here, can you make this real quick? Yeah. I know you guys are pretty hungry, so we're gonna make a pizza real quick. I'll share some with you. How's my pizza looking? Chris! It got a little burnt. I'm starting to get a little concerned with you and cooking. You have a bad habit of burning everything. It's just, it's hard to regulate the temperature. This side's not bad. Yeah, but I just promised all our viewers some pizza. Don't eat that. No. No. All right guys, Chef Beast here. Here you go guys, here's your pizza pizza. All right, well it just so happens my videos are fucking expensive as hell and I need money, especially to pay these guys. You know, this pizza is fire. And you know what else is fire? This merch you can get at shopmrbeast.com. They're Jake Pollers, they know the deal. Shopmrbeast.com, go cop merch. All right, next thing, I'm how to basic. Hey, don't get it all over my sexy merch. Oh. <laughs> I meant to throw it oh. over there. I'm so sorry, cameraman. Oh my goodness. Hey, get, get, out get, get out of here. We don't need that. Hey, hey, come on. Camera come sucks, on, I'm dude. cameraing get here. Get out of here. All right, guys. I'm How To Basic, and my friend's going to make eggs for me. Wow. Honestly, Chris, the eggs look perfect. Yeah, um, I would not grab that. It's probably going to be molten hot. <laughs> you know what? Let's make a full course meal for our viewers. There's your eggs. There's your pizza. What else do you guys want? All right, let's make them some toes. They like their toes burnt. Do what you've been doing. Hey, ladies out there, get you a man who knows how to handle a flamethrower. Here's your toast, nice and cooked, still a little fluffy. I know that's how you guys like it. All right, there's toast, there's the pizza. And there's some egg. There's a little bit of egg. Here you go, I know you guys are hungry. I'm gonna set you guys down. Enjoy your meal. Wow, you guys ate that fast. All right, let's flamethrower some epic things. As you all know, the Fire Nation attacked and then the airbender had to save the day. So let's see if that still holds true 2,000 years later. How am I supposed to fly now? Uh, I'm sorry to announce, but the Fire Nation won. That's why we're all enslaved to Kanye West. All right, Chris, I could use a little moisturizer. Just a little. Hey, hey, hey. Just a little, right? Yeah. I use that much, like, daily. Next, we're gonna torch some moisturizer. And if you're like Chris and moisturize yourself, go to shopmrbeast.com and get an I Moisturize shirt. Weren't those bottles white a second ago? They were. Now it's like the new premium black. For those of you hardcore moisturizers, this stuff really gets the job done. If your moisturizer is in 300 degrees Fahrenheit, then it's not good. The next thing is this mattress, but there's a bear on it. What do we do? Let's see if we can lift it with the bear on it. Wait, Chris, be careful. The bear might attack. All right, now that the mattress is 140 pounds lighter, let's pick it up. That's the pee stain right there, right? Yeah, actually, I spilled tea on that. Pee? Tea. Like with a pee. Pee. Tea. You, you peed on it? I teed on it. Peed on it. I peed on it. We okay. agree that Thanks. you peed on it. Yeah, definitely. that's how you accept it. Hey, stop peeing on my mattress. I'm trying to feed a dog. Showered. I'm just kidding, man. Come on, we got to shoot the rest of the video. 
You know, you always walk over there. You always do this. I don't think he's stopping anytime soon. Uh, I think he's gonna stop like right. <laughs> and oh. a breath. <laughs> he's really going for it, guys. Outros can only be 20 seconds. Look what I found. Oh wow. In the tree over there. Richard popped. It's all that remains of Richard won. I think we should have a funeral. What better way for Richard to go out than this? We have to cremate Richard. Cremate him. He deserved better. Gone, but not forgotten. I'm done. That was our eggs. I don't care, delete my channel. Without Richard, I'm nothing. The eggs just got cooled off, man. I can't zoom in any further. He's way out there. Top of the morning to laddies. We got a cooler. So see this viewers, feel it. It's pretty cold. It actually is cold. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna close it. Karate chop, flame throw it, and let's see if it keeps it cold. You're doing a good job sitting on the van. Everyone say Eric's doing a good job sitting on a van. Thank you. I'm editing this, so it's gonna say, boo, you suck. Ha <laughs> ha, hey, everybody say that guy sucks right there. That guy pees on his mattress. I teed on it. That guy sucks over there. Hey, camera one, camera two, light nine. Camera one sucks. You come up here and you sit on this freaking truck, camera one. It's a van. Hey, camera two. Say sorry, camera one. Camera one, say sorry, camera two. Sorry, camera one. Camera one, say it. Sorry, camera. Two cameras will live in harmony. Hey, look, it changed the color of it. Wait. Oh, wow, it's actually still cold. Oh. Wait, what? Dude, he burnt this thing to a crisp, and this water's still cold. It made it into a sprinkler. You can water your, uh, you can water your plants now. Ah, it's hot. Is it? <laughs> this pizza. Hey, that's the viewer's pizza. Share. Hey, you want your pizza back? Hey, hey, camera one, camera one. You're really pushing it. We got a little dispute going on. Camera two, play nice. Camera one, get the fuck away. You know this is camera two's territory. Yeah. I'll just I'll sit on the pee camera. mattress. <laughs> All right, do it. <laughs> So what I want you guys to do is I want you to comment down below. How do you want your steak? Medium, well, rare? Comment down below. We'll try to cook them how you want. This is now a cooking channel. Call me Mr. Cooking. We're what? Wow, Chris. I'm actually really impressed. I don't jump around with my steaks, man. All right, first taste test goes to Bubba. You ready, Bubba? That's it? Good boy. Oh, missed it. Ate it without even chewing it. He loved it so much. Look at these got hot steaks here, boys. Well, I knew, oh, yeah. dude, I knew eating steak. a steak and moisturizer would be a great idea. Hold on, I got some bread for you guys. I'll be right back. Steak and moisturizer is the best steakhouse in all of America. So I know it's actually cooked. It's actually pretty good. You wish you had flamethrower made steak. Hey, Chris. Yeah, what's up, man? Dude, you've been near the flames so much your shirt started dripping. No way, yours is dripping too. Dang. Or is it just really sick merch? That they can buy at shopmrbeast.com. Don't even turn on the flamethrower. I'll flame it myself. Okay. This, is, this is the hottest fire in the game. Boy. I can't wait for my Logan Paul ice sculpture. I hired the best artist in all of the lands to make it. He He's should be from here the soon. Mary lands. That's how happy his lands are. They're Mary. Yeah, he actually flew really far away to make it. And this is going to be a dope ice sculpture. He also has made ice sculptures for presidential elections, uh, rap groups, um, cone headed people. He even did one for Kanye West, I think. Who you calling a pinhead? Hey viewers, that is Logan Paul with his uh, bowl haircut. Hey Logan Paul, nice of you finally collab with me. He's got the Maverick logo. Guys, I've been keeping this a secret for quite a while. Logan Paul's been wanting to collab with me, you know. He hears me talking about how I'm a Maverick all the time, how I'm a little gangster. It's nice of you to join us, Logan Paul. Are you good, bro? Logan, I get it, you're nervous. There's no need to sweat, man, calm down. Dude, I know you got the merch on and stuff, and you're hot, you're good, man, you're good. Is there anything you wanna say before we torch you, Logan? LoganPaul.com slash- Oh, you wanna plug your merch? No, I wanna plug my merch. Did you bring Kong? How's your brother doing? Pretty good? That's cool. What's going on, man? You were so talkative when the camera was off. Why are you giving me the cold shoulder? Fine, we'll just flamethrower you. You need to chill out. You're pretty tough.
actually kind of excited for this KSI fight. I ordered my Maverick merch, and it hasn't come in yet. Uh, oh, Logan's a strong boy, correct? <laughs> no, Logan. <laughs> Keep your low gang over there. Uh, your low gang. No. Get your low gang out of here. Hey, you destroyed my idol. Uh, well, we got another one for you. So you need a little ice for your glass there? Yeah, I could use some ice. Here you go, viewers. Here's your Logan Paul elbow drink. <laughs> Let's, sorry, cameraman. I'm gonna have to take this. <laughs> We're gonna dab a little marshmallow. Here's your little cocktail. That was my marshmallow. <laughs> Smells like gas. Yeah, gas and Logan Paul's elbow. Ew. Sorry. You want your marshmallow? Back. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> take it. I, I, don't. I don't want it. Do you want it, Bubba? Just kidding, Bubba. It's not good for you. You can have Logan Paul's elbow. If one Logan Paul ice sculpture wasn't enough, we have a second one. This time, he's a little shorter. It's okay. We understand. What better way to tell you guys about my new merch than in front of an Ipe sculpture of Logan Paul. And before I talk about my merch, I just want to be straightforward. Like, my videos are extremely expensive. And there was a point where, like, month after month after month, I either went negative or, like, just what I made off my videos just paid for themselves. It doesn't matter because now, you know, I make pretty good money. But I'm just saying, my videos are pretty expensive and I'd like to buy a house and move out from my mom's house. You know, I'm 19 and I still live with her. There's a lot of things I'd like to do and I'd like to be able to do crazier things. And so selling merch like this would fund it and also I'm gonna do my best when I do plug my merch to make sure it's entertaining and funny and anytime it's like kind of boring I'm always gonna do my best to save it towards the end my number one priority is entertaining you guys being super original really creative and just a complete idiot because I know that's something that's really lacking on YouTube and that's kind of my goal so for those of you interested shop mrbeast.com is the name of my merch store it just launched today May 1st the first shirt we're selling to help raise awareness for dry skin is the I moisturize shirt Chris obviously moisturizes, but do you guys buy this shirt and wear it just to help people realize like dry skin is not okay. You gotta moisturize guys. Help raise awareness. And the other item we're selling is this hoodie. It says Mr. Beast on the side. We've got this. I just think it looks good. I really didn't want merch that was like corny. Like this is actually something I'd wear out. It just looks cool. Even if you don't know what my channel is, you would just see this and be like, wow, that looks pretty cool. You know, it doesn't look stupid. So I thought I'd try something new with this whole merch selling thing. Basically on our website, whenever you buy stuff, you get beast points. And those beast points can be converted to raffle tickets and our first giveaway is $10,000. On May 7th I'm gonna pick a random person with a raffle ticket and give them $10,000 and let them be in one of my videos. As you guys know I like to give away all these videos as you see on this screen. These are all videos where I gave away money and now I want a chance for you guys to win some money. So all you have to do is head to shopmrbeast.com before May 7th, buy some merch and you'll get beast points, convert those beast points into raffle tickets and you can get a chance to win $10,000 and be the outro of one of my videos. Videos. Hopefully we make more than $10,000 off of it, which then will allow me to give more money to people, buy more ice sculptures, build more flamethrowers, just do dumber things. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, shopmrbeast.com, buy some merch, you'll get beast points, convert it to a raffle ticket, you can win $10,000 and do an outro on one of my videos, just like that quid guy did on the Zorball video. Should be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to meet whichever one of you guys win. I tweeted out a picture of me picking Logan Paul's nose, as you can see, just clearing out, you know, the mucus and stuff. Logan Paul, as you can see right there, like the tweet so uh see that logan paul liked it liked by logan paul logan if you ever need someone to pick your nose man i got you i accidentally knocked logan over let's light this thing Rest in peace, Logan Paul. Wait a minute, Chris. We can just microwave stuff? We don't actually need a flamethrower? Apparently, you can just make popcorn in the microwave. Well, since when have microwaves been a thing? You're famous, Queenie. <laughs> do something funny. I thought all microwaves could do was microwave other microwaves, microwave the microwave, microwave in a toaster. No, they can also break windshields. When were you guys going to tell me microwaves were for food and not for just viral videos? We figured we'd let you uh, figure it out on your own. So why'd we get this flamethrower? Uh, views. <laughs> True. 